My name is Tara Suits, and I am a behavioral pediatric psychologist. I work for the Monroe Meyer Institute at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, and I am the staff psychologist at Children's Physicians Valverde. Practicing psychologists have the professional training and clinical skills to help people learn to cope more effectively with life issues and mental health problems. After years of graduate school and supervised training, they become licensed by their states to provide a number of services, including evaluations and psychotherapy. Psychologists help by using a variety of techniques based on the best available research and consider someone's unique values, characteristics, goals, and circumstances. Practicing psychologists work in schools, colleges and universities, hospitals and prisons, veterans medical centers, health and mental health clinics, businesses and industry, nursing homes, and rehabilitation and long-term care centers. To become a psychologist, the first step is to complete your bachelor's degree. A few examples of appropriate undergrad degrees might include psychology, sociology, education, pre-law, or pre-med. To become a practicing psychologist, you'll need to select a graduate program in clinical, counseling, or school psychology. There is much overlap between the three types of programs, but in broad terms, clinical psychology programs may focus on adults or children and adolescents and will train you to diagnose and treat individuals coping with mental health disorders. Counseling psychology programs often emphasize overall well-being throughout the lifespan, with a focus on a client population without serious or persistent mental illnesses. School psychology programs prepare you to work in behavioral health and academic concerns for children in schools, and some programs also provide training and clinical practice in the community. At the end of graduate training, students from clinical, counseling, and school psychology programs are eligible for many of the same opportunities and may all become licensed psychologists. Once you get into graduate school, you'll be spending your time in a combination of coursework and field experiences. Different programs have varying requirements for comprehensive exams, research, and writing. Regardless of your program, before you graduate, you'll need to complete a dissertation and a psychology pre-doctoral internship. Typical psychology doctoral programs last four to five years, with an additional year for your off-site internship. Once you complete your internship and dissertation, you'll be ready to graduate with your doctoral degree. Upon graduation, you may opt to complete formal postdoctoral training, during which time you accrue supervised clinical hours to apply for your license. To be successful as a psychologist, you'll need to be able to connect with people, think quickly on your feet, and see the big picture in detail simultaneously. You'll need to be a good communicator and a salesperson to sell your recommendations because treatment isn't always easy. And it doesn't hurt to be good at time management and organization either. My story is one of staying open to opportunities as they came along. I started my undergraduate training with a pre-med related major, but as I progressed, I realized I was more interested in psychology. As a side job, I started working as a private tutor, and I realized how much I loved working one-on-one -on -one with students and tailoring learning to their needs. I selected an educational psychology path and applied to school psychology programs. I was sure I would work as a school psychologist, but as I completed field placements, I learned that I was more interested in working with families than in schools, so my focus took a clinical turn. When it came time to apply to internships, I applied to programs with an emphasis in integrated care, where clinical psychology services are provided within a pediatrician's office and in coordination with a physician. After completing my internship in that setting, I fell in love with the model of practice and decided not to pursue private practice which was my original plan. Instead, I joined the faculty at the Monroe Meyer Institute as an assistant professor, and I continue to work in integrated care as a behavioral pediatric psychologist. I truly enjoy helping parents understand behavioral principles so they can take my treatment recommendations and apply them across various problematic behaviors and interactions. 
I particularly love working with parents of toddlers and preschoolers because I feel that if I can help parents work more effectively with their little one and improve the parent-child relationship, the long-term impact of that simple change can be incredible. If you're an undergrad and looking to get into graduate school, my top recommendation is to find a way to get involved in research. Doctoral programs value research experience tremendously. The field is one that values experience in general, so stay open to opportunities, research or not, that are aligned with your career interests. Volunteer for events that are related to your interests, keep your grades up, study well for the GRE, and work hard to improve your writing.